Javi Morales, good morning, good morning, good morning. We're getting ready to go live. Hang on just one second. We're going to go live. Hang on just one second. We're going to take care of some business here. <clears throat> no. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what the hell is going on here, man. I tried doing something here and it just, for some reason, it didn't seem to work. Let me see here. Let me try to figure out what the hell I'm doing here. I uh, know. I'm not doing that. Okay. Let me see here. Let me do this over here. Okay. We're going to do this over here. One, two, three. You see, this isn't easy. Three. And four, there we go. Boom! Good morning, Double R Radio, Tuesday morning, 7.59 in the morning. El Ocho de Mayo 2018. So that's May the 8th, 2018. Yeah, that's right, 5-8-2018. I got my dates right, there we go. Anyway, Tuesday morning, good morning. You know, I have really been struggling with my back for the past week. I'm not lying to you, man. You know, this is all true. Back in the day, I used to work at the airport. Back in the 80s, mid-80s, I used to work at the airport. And what I did in the beginning, I used to work at a bodega, a warehouse. And what we would do, 18-wheelers would back up into the warehouse, and there'd be five or six of us, and we'd have to unload 18-wheelers. All true. And um, sometimes we could get it with the forklift. Sometimes we'd have to get it with the pallet jack. And sometimes we'd have to unload the 18-wheelers like, uh, like a chain gang. Passing the box to the next one, passing the box to the next one, all the stuff. And I remember I used to be in Chingas working, right, doing my thing. And I'll never forget this old timer, this guy that was working there, looked at me and he goes, you know what, dude? He told me, you know what? Right now, you're kicking butt, you're working, you're doing the thing, you're young, you're young blood. But you're going to feel it later on in life. All this that you're doing, all this hard work, you're going to feel it later on in life. And boy, oh boy, was he right, man. Because like I said, every once in a while, my back acts up. And it's been acting up for the past week, and I'm serious, man. <laughs> you do not learn to appreciate your back until you're not able to move with it. See, like right now, you know, I just smoked a joint, and uh, <laughs> right. no, I, I took some might be pro, man. <laughs> I just smoked a joint right now <laughs> to relax my back, <laughs> and boy, did it relax everything else as well. <laughs> Anyways, and what's so crazy about it? Um, let me tell you the way parents are, at least my parents, you know, I got a really, really sore back and it's been like that all week. So I can call my dad. Well, actually, I'll take it back. I can call my mom and say, mom, mom, my back, mom, my back's hurting me, mom. And she'll go, I, Miko, Miko, have you taken some medicine? Miko, yeah, ma, I took medicine. Miko, have you taken some ibuprofen? Yeah, ma, yeah, ma. Have you smoked a joint yet? Yeah, Miko, no, ma, not yet. Don't smoke a joint. Your dad's going to tell you to smoke a joint. Don't smoke a joint. Okay, okay, ma, I won't smoke a joint. It's illegal. I won't smoke a joint, ma. Right? So my mom's being, okay, Miko, and go sit in the tub full of hot water and soak yourself in there and relax, and your back will feel better. That's my mom telling me all this, right? So, I'll call my dad. Dad, my back is really acting up. Smoke a joint. <laughs> smoke a joint and you'll feel a whole lot better. No, Dad, I'm not going to smoke a joint because all it makes me want to do is go to Jack in the Box and order 100 tacos. I'm not going to do it. Right? Because, man, but really, man, you do not appreciate your back until you're not able to use it the way you're used to doing it. And that's the truth. It really, really is. Anyways, and it will cut into your sex life. <laughs> At least mine. <laughs> Whatever I do have. Let's do some good morning shout out here. Good morning shout out to Javi Morales. I mean, Prima Irene Gallona. Good morning, Prima. I mean, Primo. Hello, how you doing, Primo? There we go. Tony Ramo. How you doing, Tony? I mean, let me see here. Jason Edward Schiffman. How you doing, brother? Maria Gonzalez. Good morning, Maria. How we doing? Irby Ordinales. Buenos dias. Angela Mata. Good morning. Good morning. Christina Rivera. Good morning. Maravilla's very own Leroy Urbazo. How you doing, Leroy? Good morning. Good morning, amigo. There we go. Norma Aguillon, the Valley of the Casa. How we doing, Norma? Good morning. Janie Ramos Fernandez. Good morning, Janie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Anyway, let's see what's going on here in this crazy, crazy world. What are they? Here we go. Check this out, man. This story here, man. I, I don't understand this story. Colorado Parks Wildlife Officials are looking for a man 
who was uh, <laughs> who, <laughs> who was videotaped molesting a moose. How in the hell do you molest a moose? <laughs> really? I'm, how do you molest a moose? You know how big those things are? How in the hell did you say, you know what? I'm feeling horny. I want to molest a moose. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> hey, man, I don't care how horny I am. I'm not going to go molest a moose. Maybe the neighbor's cat or dog, but not a moose. I'm not going to go to a public park and go, come here, Mr. Moose. Come here. Here you go. I got something for you. Come on over here. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm leaving that moose alone. Good morning, Shara. Good to Cynthia Gonzalez. I mean, it's a McCartney Villas Real. Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias. Rosemary Gomez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Jenny Ramos Fernandez. Good morning, good morning. Well, no more moose molestation. Now, check this out. It gets even crazier. A man known in his trailer park as Santa Claus has been convicted of breaking into a neighbor's home, a female neighbor's home, to leave her notes and panties saying he wanted to see her wear them. You know, how weird is that to go buy a woman like 50 or 60 pairs of panties and a woman you don't even know, leave them at her door and say, I want to see you wear these. What a waste of money. Man, you probably spent two or $300 for that. You could have bought a case of beer, a DiGiorno's pizza, some wings, and you know, you can go have some HBO and Showtime instead of buying this woman 50 pairs of panties. I don't think so, even more so. How difficult can it be for a guy, not knowing a woman's size or anything, to go buy her panties? Right? That'd be tough, man. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could buy a woman. Let's see, let me just see. I, I see my neighbor over there, and she's got a big boobs, big butt, and a big smile, and I go, you know what? I'm going to try and press her and buy her some panties. Right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Walmart. Right, I'm gonna go buy nothing expensive. I'm gonna go to Walmart and I'm gonna go, uh, ma'am. I, I I need to buy some panties, uh, sir. <laughs> the girl's probably gonna go, sir. No, sir. You need underwear. No, no, no. I need panties. I'm trying to impress my neighbor over here. I'm gonna buy her some panties. Well, what size does she wear? Uh, I don't know. I just know that she buys a lot of groceries and that she's always bringing home Whataburger. That's all I know. Uh, is she kind of like my size big or is she kind of thin? I don't know. I don't. Hey, don't you have a pair, you know, kind of panties that one size fits all? <laughs> right. Don't you have a pair of panties one size fits all? And there you go. Give me one of those. Maybe make it two of them. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> I'm going to shut up, man. I'm going to keep on going. Good morning, John. Good morning, Rick Bazarama. Good morning, good morning, Linda Lopez. Good morning, good morning, Cynthia Gonzalez. I mean, good morning, Linda Lopez. Buenos dias, Connie Villarreal. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Anyways, uh, then let's see what the hell else is going on. Check this out. It gets even crazier, man. A man got so intoxicated, he was so drunk, he got on the lawnmower and he started mowing his neighbor's lawn thinking it was his lawn. How crazy is that, right? How drunk do you have to be to say, I'm going to cut the grass. You get on your lawnmower, you start mowing, and the neighbor tells you, hey, what the hell are you doing? Dude, you're cutting my lawn. And you're going like, oh, man, I thought it was my lawn. <laughs> You make a U-turn, go back and start cutting your own lawn. How drunk do you have to be to be cutting somebody else's lawn? Well, that's what this man was doing, and he was arrested for cutting somebody else's lawn. How did you get arrested? How do they write that down on your ticket? Well, now, sir, you're being arrested because you cut somebody else's lawn. <laughs> Man, how many years do you get for that, right? Good morning, Chad. I'm going to Mary Rebus. Good morning, good morning. Anyways, este, um, no doubt about it, este, um, I'm thinking this weekend I'm going to be headed to Cachada Casino out there in Louisiana. Time for me to go ahead and donate some money. But I haven't been out there since uh, Thanksgiving weekend, and I think it's more has been more than long enough for me to go on out there and visit Cachada Casino. So... Cachada Casino, here I come this weekend, and I'm definitely looking forward to the getaway. I really, really am. Anyways, it is Tuesday morning, and uh, let's get it going. Little Sunday by Casey and the Sunshine Band. Let's give it up. Tuesday morning. Good morning, Double R Radio. Not really, man. I've been having problems with my back, and I can't tell you how many people I thank y'all so very much for giving me your blessings and Robert get better and stuff, and everybody has their own little thing about how to get my back better. No lie. This one girl said, Robert, what you need to do is have three or four times is to have sex three or four times a day and it's going to relax your back. 
And I said, it's going to relax everything else as well, man. Hey, hey. But anyways, I really did like her idea. Anyways, let's get back to the morning show. Join me, RobertRebusRadio.com. Just click on the blue button and you'll be joining me on my morning show live. Orale, morning show time.